name's Roger Evans and I'm a master thatcher and I'm here to uh, put a new thatch roof on the Hermitage. The first course is water reed, commonly known as Norfolk reed. I only ever use Norfolk reed. On this roof it gives a, a added strength to the eave. The walls are, are somewhat irregular and they protrude here and there so we've had to hang the eave out as far as possible so we don't get any drips on the, on the, on the wall. On top of the water reed now we're using long straw. It's a straw specially grown for, for thatching and this, this variety here is called Maris Widgeon. Straw would have been locally grown and it be readily available so that would have um, that's most likely what would have been used in this, this case when, whenever the place was built. Yes, the straw has to be wetted before it can be used and allowed to soak for a little while just to make it that more pliable. And of course then when it dries out it actually sticks together so that helps that process as well. These um, bits of steel are, are temporary fixings and then a steel band is laid right across the thatch. A wire screw is inserted into the timber work underneath and, and by the means of a, 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 a full screw, like a sack tie, um, they really pull the steel down to trap, trap the, um, the straw. We're going for the, um, as regards the finish, we're going for the, the rustic finish, obviously, because it's quite a, a rustic sort of building, isn't it, you know, but um, we'll, de we'll decide when it's actually all on, just the sort of exact sort of finish we would like to see. This is part of our heritage, isn't it? We're, we're world famous for, for our thatched cottages. People come over here to, to see our thatched cottages, you know, from all over the world. Thank you. 